Hi, welcome to Andrew Shaolin, and today we're going to talk about ground defense for women for cases like um, pinning and being raped, or prevent from being raped, I should say. Uh, we're going to teach you about a common thing where a guy will mount a girl and pin them by their hands and just keeping them down there, and so, uh, keeping them in that submission pose. Okay? So we're going to talk about how to deal with it. We're going to talk about how we can utilize the energy from the opponent, not your size against the opponent. We're not about size. We're about leverage, technique, and energy flow. So we're going to talk about the mount. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use Jay. Just kind of get that so it's like, boom. What happens? Ah! Okay, then okay. bring it away, bring it away, bring it away. Bring it close to your body so it's not. Ah, okay. Yeah, so. Great time. Mm, good. Oh, no, she broke your hand. You forgot. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We both tried out. It's all right. I was in like, go, go, go. No, look, you got the good turn. I mean, right. I felt you throw me over. Right. If you didn't do it right, I would have turned. I mean, you did it wrong the first time. Right. I, I wouldn't turn for you. But when you brought it in, that was good. Right. But when you bring it in, don't leave your hand like this. Okay. Fast exit. Yes. So here, pinch back down and fill in. This is what you did, Jamie. Ready? Yeah, I broke it up. Here. Right, and then, right. You want to, see? All at once, okay. All at once, because you want to use that fall on him to help you. Okay. You broke it so he, he stabilized right, himself. Right, right, right. So if he felt like he's falling, he's not anymore because you took too long. Okay. So come, come. So when he's pinning you down, especially when you feel, and don't put your fingers down, okay? I don't want to burn your, your, your wrists or your fingers. So when you put it down here, just open it. So if I go like this, and he pushes you down, see? Right. Use the momentum. What you do is you didn't give him momentum. Right. So it's now you're fighting his max. Right. You said during and it's okay. It's okay. We'll bring it down for you. But during this time, you don't want to break and go. Now right. he's stabilized. See, he wants to fall, but right. now he's stable. Now he's running top of me. So when you go like right. this and he push you down, use that. Okay. See, I use that energy. It actually, I actually got hurt the first two times. I now I know how to not get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see how you have right. that? It's okay. It actually, You're breaking apart. It actually goes right into your elbow. And more move by right hand. Right. So what the idea is, is you want to slide to like turning your wrist. Don't go like this with your arm straight because you're actually, that's when you're making a mistake. You're straightening out your arm. Okay. You want to pivot from your arm because you have more power. So make sure your fingers don't go in there. See? Look so at the body. Kind of up then? Just fingers up so you don't okay. strip your wrist so they don't burn. And you just want to not move your elbow, you just want to pivot from your elbow, but don't extend. This is what you did. So you extend. Now, where's the energy going? Where then it's, it's going into your hand. It. You want this. So, just see? Just, so his body fall. So, when he's pushing all this weight on you, his body's going to naturally collapse to one side. During that time that you feel the body fall, bring it in, this one in, and hit. All right. And that makes him go. Even if I say that, stay on me if you can. The momentum, especially when you. So just bring it in. Now, bring your arm in as you bring the other one in and throw them at the same time. How much is bring this arm? Just, just throw it at the same time. Just go like this. When your arm's like this, just go like this. Bring it in. You don't have to bring it up. I said bring it in. Yeah. That's it. See? That's it. That's it. See how it does it? And then throw them at the same time and just keep doing that. <laughs> no, you have the momentum now. I mean, you can. So his weight goes in. Now bring your elbow in. Bring your elbow in. Yeah. You want to pull. As soon as you go like this, That's not pull bad. your elbow in. That's really don't good. Don't pull your hand. We can learn quick. Yeah, so, hook, in, take, push, turn the other way, better. And we're going to talk about the common, common position where a guy has a mount on a girl and they pin them by the arms, okay? This is their way of dominance. This is the way they get them to feel helpless and hopeless. And for the most part, a lot of times they can feel that way if they don't know what they're going to do. I like the Chinese saying that says, four ounces can move a thousand pounds. You just need to know how. Here's the know-how, okay? I'm 4,000, oh, I'm not 1,000 pounds, she's the four <laughs> ounces. Okay, I can be 4,000, I can be 10,000, it doesn't matter because this is not about size. This is all about learning how to control one's force and the energy in which it moves, okay? So, when someone grabs a girl and they to this mountain where they pin them down, okay? Our instinct tells us that the girls will naturally try to push up and he will just push her down and show dominance, okay? Now, obviously, unless you're really, 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 really strong, you're not gonna push a guy off. Not unless, like I said, you're just like the Hulk with Superman where it's size don't matter. In this case, I'm about 165, 170 pounds. 
I can put all this weight, or most of my weight, down her arms and keep her body pinned. There's no way she's going to be able to bring this up. So how do you deal with this force? Obviously you can't go against them because they're just too big. We're going to use angles. We're going to use arcs. Okay? Now, the first thing that she wants to do, and really, it could be either side, and depending on the situation in the room, if you're by a wall, then obviously this side would be the better side. If you're on this, and the wall's on that side, you better be on this side. But most part, if you have room on both sides, it's uh, kind of up to your choice. Okay? And we're going to use this side, just so you can see better. Okay? One of the things, when they grab you, they're going to grip their hands around someone's arm, and they're going to pin it down to the ground. Now, great on concrete, super great on carpet, and, and um, rough areas like hard ground surface area that can rip their skin. And what do I mean by that is, the first thing once he tries to push off is the guy's gonna use the momentum to push back. That's one of the best times you can use their energy against them because they have energy coming down. So she wants to hook her wrist this way towards the knuckles to the fingers. And the reason why is because she wants to send energy into my hand. If she tries to push up, she's not sending it to my hand, she's actually gonna send it into my grip. We don't want that, that just enforces their strength. So you want to hook the energy into their hand. And the reason why we want this, because we want to steer the hand, the directional force of someone's hands. Okay, so when she does this, the goal is for the body mechanics, she does not want to engage her shoulders. If she engages her shoulders, all the stress is going to go there. She wants to use the ground and the force to her advantage. And what I mean by that? Well, obviously, if she's trying to pick up, she's fighting against me, so that's no good. The second thing is we want to use the angle of the forces because we want to take that downward force and we want to convert. We want to change downward energy into an arc energy. So if this is my hand, I want this force to like this. So her first thing that she wants to do is keep her arms isolated so she doesn't waste energy moving it. For example, if she tries to throw it down, it's not going in my hand, it's actually going to her, uh, her elbow. So we don't want that. We want to keep the arms steady, okay? And she wants to like basically turn the wrist and then straighten out her elbow, so to speak. That'll create an arc. Which, if I had a lot of pressure down, especially on concrete or asphalt, and even carpet works well too, I will burn my fingers. My natural reaction will, will pull away. So, if she did this right, I'm open my hand. She does this, I might go, ah! And, but, if I had my weight too, I might pull and fall because I had committed energy pushing her down. That's why she can push up when I push down. That's the best time to use the advantage because someone's pushing her down, she can hook that right away. Okay? And that will burn their hand. That's how you can escape the pressure from this side. So when she pushes, or man, when I push, she arcs, I can fall. And naturally, if I had weight down, I would naturally lose my weight. The second thing she wants to do is she wants to take her arm on this side, and she wants to take the arm and kind of turn her wrist towards my hand again, but sending it to my hand and bringing her elbow down. And the reason why she wants to bring the elbow down and close to her body is because she wants to take the stress off her shoulders, or I want her to take the stress off her shoulders. If she keeps it out, when she tries to turn me, the stress, if you push up if you can, it's on her hand. Yeah, she'll feel it in her shoulders. If she brings it in and turns the wrist towards my hand, she won't feel it in her shoulders so much. She actually will connect it to her whole entire body. So her whole entire body will you be aiding in taking me off as opposed to just an individual point like her shoulders. So basically from this side, when she brings this side down, she wants to learn to bring this side in and down like that. And that will give her a position for her structure to be aligned from her shoulder to her hip. The next step she wants to do, now this is all done at the same time, but we're breaking this down. But you really want to do this very, very close to the same time possible. Because you want to use their momentum against them. But if you pause and you break, then you don't have momentum. Now you have to force them, and that's not what we want to do. Now, once she brings it in, her legs here, when she's on the ground, should be close to her as possible. And the reason why is because you want to use the heel to help drive the hips. If your legs are straight, she's going to be basically have no power to throw her hips at all. So if her legs are straight, can you turn your hips? Very low power, but bring it in, and then throw the hips. So you can see, she'll have much more power to turn because of her heel. She wants to drive her heel into the ground, push that so her hips can go towards my hips. Okay, so when we do this, and she sets her body up right, she's going to align her whole entire side to one connective point, so it's not a weak point. A chain is only strong as its weakest link, right? So if one point is taking most of the stress, or a lot of the stress, it's going to want to go there. Because what's the fundamental principle of energy? It wants to go the path of least resistance. So if she creates a weak point in her body, it's going to go there. Not because of my skill, it's because of her lack of skill. Okay? 
So it's gonna, she wants to line everything in. She wants to turn that wrist towards my hand, right? So when she hooks it in, it's gonna wanna turn. Her hand that goes down, she wants to bring that in, okay? So she's gonna bring her elbow in towards her body. <laughs> and then she's gonna throw me at the same time with the hip and the wrist. So it would be, ah, uh, uh, okay? And that's how she can roll me. She does not, or I don't want her to, throw upper body. It's not your upper body, it's your whole body. So when you're going down and in, you want to keep this in. See how my hip turns, my knee turns, my hand comes in? So my hand just wants to do this, and I want to bring this in as tight as I can. And don't worry about pressure, because you're not fighting up, you're fighting in. He's pushing down, you're not going up. He can fight you that way, you're actually going in. So your hands will naturally go down this way, it brings you close. Throwing the hip will throw his energy over to the side, allows you to bring your body in. Your hand wants to go in at the same time, you want to close yourself up, throw the hip over and turn your opponent off to the side. Okay, so it takes practice to learn how to do this all at the same time. We want to have a nice flow. So if I did this, if I was a victim, I want to go one, two, three. You see how I did that? So it's here, I'm, I'm pinned down, I want to go out, in, and hit school. And then I can get that opponent to follow right off my body. Okay, and it doesn't matter how big, how tough you are. You're just pivoting him. You are not throwing him. This is not throwing him off you. This is pivoting off you. Pivoting means that you're just gonna have a focal point like a seesaw, and you're just gonna send the weight to one side, which makes, if you have enough weight on one side of the seesaw, it's gonna go that way. That's exactly the mentality that you wanna play. You're not throwing the opponent off you. You are pivoting the opponent off you. That's why it doesn't matter the size. If you can get the energy to favor that one side, it's easy to topple someone over, okay? So that's the four ounces versus the thousand pound theory. Just need to know how. You gotta set your body right, send the alignment, and focus the energy, and set his energy that way. So if we're doing this like this, and she probably do it. So if I pin her, and she does the move, it's here, in, and then, oh! She can throw, okay? So that's how she can get, and then obviously she wants to roll off the opposite direction. Now I'm gonna do some nasties for those who have experience. What you can do, like if you wanna, if you feel still like he still have a fight and a threat matter, so she's gonna get on top of me. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. So if we have someone on top of you, okay, and again, if you're pinned and you're trying to get them off, get off me! And they pin you right back down. As soon as you feel them push you down, send, send the energy off. You see how she goes off? Now, to get some techniques, now for a guy, you can hit the groin, pull, so I'm gonna use a thigh, okay? I can pull on that. When she does, I have my guard here, so if she's trying to punch me, I have my hands, and then here. So, oh, sorry, <laughs> okay. see how I get the punches in there? Okay, once I can get that, I can claw. I can just push her arms off, and to roll off, bring myself in, come out and make sure my knees are in top to my, my, my chest, so I have a natural roll without a delay and stand up right away. Okay, it's very important if you want to roll out of it, you want to keep your knees in like a fetal position. So you don't be like this and kind of keep it like straight because then you got to breathe in like this and come up. By that time, he might be able to recover and grab you. So you want to get into what I call the fetal position in. Here when you're ready to roll, fetal position, bring your knee into your body, roll off, roll off your right elbow to transfer that out energy to your knee, allows you to come right up and get going, okay? So to do this again, and this is practice, okay? Knowing it is not enough, doing it, is how you get it, okay? So if someone's pinning you, like, get off me, get off me, see here, then here, like I said, here, I'm gonna use her thigh, just so I, cause she don't have any. So I'm gonna pull, hit. Now she has her hands, she's trying to retaliate, here's my guard, I wanna have that guard. So I have it here, so I can use that. So I can use this, so I can use it to attack. So, and I don't wanna linger long, so I wanna get as fast strike as possible. If she's holding guard hand high, hit low. Hit him low very easy. Hit the chop, roll again, come up. And now you're out, okay? So, basically, we want to make sure that when we do this, we want to get the timing, we want to control the energy. It's not about force. If you feel like you're straining, you're doing something wrong. It's not something you should strain, okay? Your body shouldn't have to feel like it has to fight the move. It should naturally feel like it flows, okay? Do it slow, get the feel for it. Then you can figure out, oh, ooh, I feel like I'm straining here. That's when you know you're doing something wrong. What you should do is just take your time. If you want to have a partner work with you, let them have that weight on you. Don't let them fight you yet because obviously if you have them fight you, 
You're not going to fight them back. You're not going to use your skill. You're going to go with what you know or what you don't know. So we want to develop the skill. You got to have a training way to do it. So let them just put the weight on you and let them just keep the weight on pinning. And then just slowly do one. It's okay to do one step at a time for now. But technically, you want to do it all together because you want to use someone's momentum, especially when you're turning their hands. You want that person to feel like, right? So keep your hands hot. So you want that, use that energy. So when you're here, that energy where their body, no, you don't have to fall, but just lean on me. So you have that offset, that energy, see? So you try to push up. So then, you see how my hip went in? So that's what you want to try and practice if you have a hard time. You want to just get them here. See if you get them off, off balance. So just kind of bring it down like this, and then see if you can get the hip. Now that's how you want to get that mechanic. So as you get good, think, remember, you're scraping and burning your hand. That's what you want to do. And when you do that, you want to hook this one down. So you're doing like this. Because they're probably going to be like this. They're not yeah, going to be they're, like no, they're not gonna, So they're gonna, they may grab. Now if they do that, that's fine too. It won't matter. Because you're not trying to hurt them to, to stop them. You're going to use the energy. So hold me down if you can, okay? So we're going to just hook, hook. You see my hands hook? One goes in, one goes down. And they go over. Okay? So you want to make sure that you're connecting your way in motion. It's your wrists and your hips. Those are the two really most important things that you want to drive your energy to. You do not want to throw it into your elbow. And the reason why is because you're not controlling. Point of contact means point of control. So wherever they make contact to you, that's where you can control them. And they can control you too. So you've got to learn to bring the energy to that point of contact. Otherwise, you have no influence. So you won't be able to affect them. So if we're going like this, and hold me down, and I go, See, I drew it to my elbow. Did that affect her wrist? Versus, so I use hold me down, hold me down, okay? No, I said hold me down. <laughs> See, so just hook and use it in the wrist. See, that's in the wrist. Hold me down, okay? <sighs> see, I couldn't. Why? Because I said, if you can see, I, I'm pushing to my elbow versus turning the wrist. See? See how she felt that time? Okay, and that's the same on this side. So you can practice individually if you want and go hooking, 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 see? Hooking, 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 boom! She goes. Okay? So practice slow, okay? Slow, smooth, moves as fast, fast and deadly. So practice it slow, get it good, okay? Um, if you have any questions, any problems, comment us below and we'll try and help you out with that, okay? Thank you for watching at the Shell and happy trains.